Hello everyone, Shrimp Scampy here with a War on the Sea video today. War on the Sea is a game where you can take ships and planes and uh, even submarines and uh, you either pick the side of the Japanese United States and you gotta basically just battle it out over objectives. Uh, we're gonna be doing the Operation Watchtower campaign where it's basically the Allies have to Expel all enemy troops from southern Solomon Islands, build an airfield in Guadalcanal, and prevent any further Japanese expansion to the south. Okay, with the game loaded, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and start it up here as with attack on Pearl Harbor. Since 1937, Japan and China have engaged in a protracted conflict the Second Sino Japanese War. America, along with other Western nations, including Britain and Australia, embargo the sale of oil, steel, and iron ore to Japan in an attempt to stem further expansion. expansionism. Japan plans occupation of the Dutch East Indies and Malaya as alternate, at alternate sources of natural resources and on December 7, 1941, launches a multi-pronged offensive through the, throughout the Pacific. The goal is to quickly secure Japanese interests, set up the friends of perimeter, and then negotiate peace with America from its position of strength. Uh, 7th of December 1941, as part of the numerous offensives launched, an aircraft from six Japanese fleet carriers attacked Pearl Harbor and crippled the U.S. Pacific fleet. The surprise attack finally draws America into World War II. We've got the Battle of Coral Sea here. You can go ahead. You know, I'm not going to read all of these. Uh, if you just want to pause the video and read it, uh, you can do so. We've got the Battle of Midway. And then the operation we are gonna be starting here. So basically, um, enemy troops have landed on Guadalcanal and they're constructing an airfield. Enemy troops meaning the Japanese. We are gonna be the Americans today. Um, once finished, they'll be able to bomb our supply lines between America and Australia and provide uh, air support um, using New Hebrides as a forward base, which would be here where my mouth is. Um, our goal is to take back Guadalcanal, which is here, I'm circling kind of behind the the campaign thing here, and uh, build our airfield and then clear all the neighboring uh, islands. So we must build a rank five airfield in Guadalcanal, take control of Guadalcanal, the Florida Islands, and Malaita, and then maintain control of Fort Moresby and Milne Bay. So you can see, go through the tab here, different stuff that are controls. And you got the C, dock our losses. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to do this every time I make a new task force, but since it's the beginning of a campaign and people that watch this video might not know what the interface looks like or how to create a possible task force if it, they're looking for maybe tips of something or for this game. So what you want to do is you want to go to your uh, main base here, which is for us is New Hebrides and you click on New Sea and each class of ships costs uh, was a command points and we only have 300 to start off with so I always go whenever I play I always go with uh, uh, what's it called cargo ships because logistics is very important if i want to let's say you know take Renau island to build an airfield to help air superiority in this area where guadalcanal is we also have santa cruz here as well so we can also reinforce that upgrade that as well but we're i'm just gonna go ahead and get a couple get a couple uh, merchant ships over here Hmm. Oh, I'm also I forgot to mention in the intro here. I'm running um I'm running the what's it called? The OM mod. I think it's called Operation Magazine, which adds kind of these merchant ships. And then I'm also adding a Tokyo Express mod, which is what I'm playing with, that adds a whole bunch of other ships that you can choose from. Not just these uh, merchant ships, which is from Operation Magazine, but you have the Casablanca and the Independence that are not in the base game. A bunch of carriers and stuff. 
a really good mod. Really, really good mod. I highly recommend you play with it. But for our first logistics task force, I think I will just go with a base, basic 7 point um, 15k MFM. And we'll start off with three of those. And then we'll get one oiler. And we only have two choices. We have one that holds 140 fuel and one that holds 78. Now, I know to upgrade to higher airfields and ports, it costs a lot of fuel, but also engineering, which the regular troop ships can hold engineering. So I think we'll just go with 153 MMF class oiler. And then obviously you need some protection for your uh, logistics uh, transports. Now, I uh, I usually only use destroyer escorts for my logistics because you don't want these to cost so much because they're already going to be slow anyway. And adding destroyers isn't going to make it any faster. They have to go with the slowest ship in the in the the task force. So. I usually just maybe put two or three destroyer escorts in here because these 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 command points they go away really quickly and you don't get a lot of them back unless you every seven days in game days you get a loot pool of command points back depending on how many um, locations you have under your control. Obviously, we have Fort Morrisby, Milne Bay, Cooktown. We even got Cairns over here, which Cairns, also, if you see it, the star is filled, not outlined like this one. I can also put ships over this way. So, I think over here, I'm going to build the logistics task force. And then, I'm going to, over here, I'm going to build a kind of anti-submarine, anti-ship anti task force. This is kind of go back and forth to defend Port Moresby. Because if you remember, the the, the access we have is... To not lose Port Moresby or Mill Bay. So I think this task force is good. I'm going to rename it to Resupply 1. Go, I'm going to manage cargo and I'm going to get some cargo on this. On these things. So I'll get one full supply, another full supply, another troop, oil. And then troops and the destroyer escorts. And then I want to course them and immediately try to get to Renault Island. And I think I'll have them in a... You can see what uh, kind of formation they're in. Now, I want number one to be... The Goldsboro. And then number six... To be Clemson. And I think I'll keep them... Um, you know what, I'll do this. I'll put I'll put the gold borrow in number four spot and Clemson in number three. So they're kind of in the sides here, and then the rest, the boiler be in the back. Okay, we'll go with that, and then they're gonna go for Rennell Island, try to capture it back, and then we're gonna go back to New Hebrides. And then we're, this time we're going to be making kind of a, uh, a strike task force. Something to... So in this game, uh, what's it called? Uh, heavy cruisers and battleships can... Let's see. So you see how the airport here, Guadalcanal, is one. But there's some over here. This one's a three. This one's a four and a two. So you can take uh, heavy cruisers and battleships. And you can bombard uh, enemy bases. And what it does is it knocks them down a level so they can't bring out or repair uh, any other, sh any uh, more planes or ships. Like if you bomb the airfield down, it reduces the number of planes that you get back each day. And then obviously, the, a level three port is the only, uh, level three and up port is the only kind of port that can. 
uh, repair any ship. So, but also at the same time, if you knock, if you keep it knocked down, then they keep losing supplies and they lose engineering, and eventually troops and uh, troops will die off without supplies in a, in a place. So I want to make a strike task force to be able to just come up here super quick, hit these, so the planes don't deal a lot of damage. Like they, uh, I've played this scenario before and they do a lot of damage if you're not careful. So we'll get, we'll start off with, hmm, start off with a, oh, make sure that's there, here, start off with a Pensacola. We'll give him an Atlanta as a backup. Give him a couple pleasures. And then we'll see what kind of uh what's it called formation that I want them in. I think just straight up just one, two, three, four. So okay. Maybe. Let's see. We'll just see what the battle lines, all right. Yeah, we'll just do one, two, three, four. But except instead of Pensacola, number one, I want the rat for number one. Pensacola, I want it three. Okay, and then we'll actually not have them come up that way. We'll have them come up. Kind of just straight up here for now. And then either go around this way, depending on how many planes get attacked, or if they have any, any, um, any other task force come down from this way and try to cut them off because the last time i played this scenario they had a carrier somewhere up here and they kept bringing planes down but that also means that i could bring a carrier in myself but before i do that i want to make sure i have this side of the map covered over here in cairn so over here i'm gonna build an anti-submarine task force so we'll go ahead and call this anti-sub let's capitalize it to make it more efficient oh you can't put that in here okay i'll just put anti-sub tf task force one enter i'll have these guys just come up and Do like do that you know try to catch them come down and around or try to land or anything <clears throat> sorry I have a little bit up just getting over under from my being under the weather so excuse me if I'm coughing or uh, clear my throat at all so 190 command points left what do I want to do here do I want to make a Tempted to get a carrier, or uh, maybe uh, not a carrier, but a uh, what's it called? Uh, it's called uh, what the Bogues is. I, I forget what it's called. I forget what it's called. The light carrier, CBL. Is what they are. You know what? I could be tempted to get the independent. You know what, we'll do it. Put independence. Do I want to get a battleship paired with it? Imagine. 60 is pretty cheap. Or I can go ahead and get the Alaska. I don't know why, they, why it's unlocked right now. Alaska usually gets unlocked in like 43 or 44. I'll get the Baltimore with it. And then we can throw into Omaha class. Like cruisers.
That's good enough for me. So we'll go ahead and we'll change this to carrier task force. Obviously, number one would be the carrier. Baltimore, I think, is okay at number two. Number three, Omaha. Number four is Milwaukee. And then you have the rest of the destroyers. I think that's okay. And we'll just have them kind of sit out here in the middle so I can strike with any of the planes from the independence, you know, in every which way, and also have scouts come out. And then I think with my last couple of command points, I'm going to get a submarine task force because subs are also very good in this game. But it also depends on the type of sub you get. The American, the American torpedoes, we get a lot of duds. So let's see what torpedoes get. Mark 14s. Yeah, Mark 14s are notoriously for, notorious for duds. Do that. Set off. Go back to statistics. <clears throat> you know what? We'll get. Just call them sub one. We'll just have these guys just kind of sneak on in here and just post up in the middle here while they, any, they try to bring any ships down in. And then we'll have 30 command points left and I think I'm gonna do the same over here. Get a Tigron and a Tarante. We have six command points left. Yeah, we'll just have these guys um, sit over here. All right. Six command points left, that's okay. We can deal with that later. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut here, set up my scout planes from each place, and then we'll uh, I'll come back whenever uh, something else, something interesting happens. All right, we have something popped up here. So I uh, sent out a Catalina and it go spotted some sort of cargo ship so i'm sending out six beauforts with uh, each with a 2000 pound bomb on it and we'll see what see what happens here and they got intercepted all right Rear gun. Not good. Hopefully the bad thing is going.
can't lose all these. Come on. Oh, it's three. Get him. Now they're aiming for the guy. I guess we're not taking that cargo ship. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, uh, I guess I'll uh, come back whenever if anything else happens. Mariner has spotted some sort of task force uh, kind of in between where Guadalcanal is, something spotted here. It's like a cow type heavy cruiser. Uh, Japanese destroyer. Japanese light cruiser. So now that we're aware they're in. So I don't have anything. I don't have anything close enough to do any damage to them. It looks like they're sailing back home anyway. But now we but we do know that they're lurking there. Mm -hmm. Like we have a another mariner spotting looks what intelligence thinks it's five ship two like cruisers three destroyers but i think it's probably that same task force the other mariner mariner found around this area now i have task force two here uh i could swing around that way but also run the risk of getting bombarded by planes i don't know which way they're going let's see if we can I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that and see which way they're moving. So I'm gonna turn these guys around and try to cut them off and come this way. It looks like they stopped. Saw that I did that and now they go back this way. So let's go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what happens here. See, now they're going back down this way. Oh, Task Force 2 being attacked by some planes. Let's get into it. 
knew that was gonna happen. Now that we get a good look at our uh, good beer of the Pensacola. Uh oh, a lot. is what I'm worried about. When they get closer, I'll park in the base. What, they're not even... Oh my god, they kind of actually hit it. They hit a destroyer turning towards them. What accuracy? Oh no. But they not doing good. Now we have the torpedo you know, Turn right towards it. Turn right towards it. Look they're going for the Radford. Poor Fletcher.
Jedi Task Force 2 was hit by another flight of planes of some sort. Some slow planes coming in. So we got Emily to see those though. Last one, the one that was wounded before. Um, I don't know what I have to do any of it. So I don't want to. I can turn away. Go ahead and have him turn. Increase speed. Heavy damage bar flooding. <coughs> oh, they got another one. Nice. One over there. Now, these guys are afraid of. They have not one, two, four feet. They're really slow. They're easy to shoot down, but dodging, you know, six torpedoes from three planes. Get hit by one. For every sake, they'll just time crunch it until they're closer. We got the uh, the last cake there. Aircraft lost all seven. But you still have one. Alright, I wanna um I'll, I'll catch back with you guys if I can catch up to this uh task force here. Alright, um so they ran into the task force, but they are very close. Uh immediately I'm gonna have Bradford just kind of take a wide wide left. I'm gonna go ahead and tell them to launch the torpedoes. Fire them. Pentacola, yeah, go for Pentacone. Atlanta. Oh, 
very good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and They're getting bracketed. That is not good, guys. That's not good. Far. I'm not doing well. Can they look at the penal flames that you can see? That's the goal. I need to do this. I'm going to go that way. I'm going to go that way. Clutch is already real hurt. I need a clutch just turn around. Very good as Bradford's magazine. the Tony, I didn't even notice. Send these guys back home for the rest of the care. How do they can fight another battle? Especially like this one.
the Yamuma. Ratsu looks clean as a whistle. I mean, Akizuki is not looking good either. But, I guess it's Uma. Going too slow to hit the <coughs> Come on, we can bring one more down with this, right? Do I turn him around and come back, or...? are out. Flutter is very bad. Three damage, three flooding. Critical damage, moderate flooding at the map. We might lose her too. Alright, I think we'll uh, go ahead and Critical, moderate, something Pone, no damage on the three of them, but I see nothing here. Yeah, not good. Not good. Mm -hmm. Alright, back at the map, my I saw some the cat this Catalina saw some Japanese merchant ships kind of like heading into Right here, so I sent a group of uh, P38 Lightnings out with two 500 pound bombs each, but they ran into supposed to be a small task force here. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get some uh, hurt on these Japanese ships here. So, at the beginning, I'm gonna immediately help these guys to drop the deck. Same as See what we got here. Must be just some destroy uh, a couple of destroyer escorts and a destroyer in the middle. I guess I'll go ahead and tell us to bomb. I 
and then we'll go scraping runs on the ground. The scraping does really good on them, um, especially with 50 cows. Uh, destroy your escorts. But let's let's see if uh, we can get a couple bomb hits on the uh, middle destroyer here. There, you barely see them. I, I doubt I need to see the, the little dots coming in. Alright, the Japanese destroyer is opening up with the AAA. They're beginning to get their maneuvers. Come on, just give me one hit. One. Away. Got him! Oh! Oh, those are that was great. It's a little bit overkill, I would I would think for that. But I would send um, those guys to turn around and hit number one. And I'll tell the rest of these guys. To to hit number three. This sort of does not look good at all. That was, that was great. Straight around the Let's go look at the report see what the damage looks like. Critical, critical number two, yeah, I would assume. Heavy on the third one and moderate on the first. Come back around for number four attack. I think we can sink all three of these. I think we do it. all together so they can all attack at once. The more 50 cows on target, the better.
Yeah, there's, there's no way. We'll have to another right. I think I'll make one more pass before the right. But I can't after. After about maybe five to ten more minutes in real life, the last destroyer escort is slipping beneath the pins. Alright, so we sunk all three. Oh, 2100 tons per destroyer for total. Uh, 3,800 tons was 4,000, and we got six command points. And with that, I hope. Uh, The lightnings have no more ammo, so I'm just gonna have them return to base. So I'm just, I was saying, I hope uh, they think twice before sending any more down this way. And that's gonna do it for us today. And thank you for uh, thank you for watching. I hope you tune in to the future episodes of this series. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to try to pump an episode. Of war on the sea like once a week maybe two depending on uh work scheduling and stuff but uh yeah thanks for watching i hope you all have a, a great day and peace